Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Man 20 video. In a couple days ago, we dropped part one of my free Saints ebook. I said, once you guys get 10 likes, I will drop part two. You guys did a great job. Killed that like button. Got it within about a day, day and a half. So greatly appreciate that. It took me a couple days to get this out to you because of Thanksgiving, but the last playbook we went over a bunch of different plays out of y off trio week and tight offset tight end two of the best formations in the game in my opinion so definitely be sure to click that link check out part one then come back to part two but anyways in this playbook we're going to talk about plays that beat cover two cover three a play that torches cover man and then one that works very well versus cover three and cover four so we're gonna start out with how to beat man coverage and it is out of split offset and it is this pa shot play so we're just gonna go here the meta of madden is definitely man blitzes you see a lot of man blitzes this year so we're gonna run pinch my go a lot of pinch my goes a lot of pinch buckos this year and it's really really easy setup you block the running back you put robinson on a drag you slant Tyree kill, and then you just gotta go over here, move this guy in, give you, give you some more space. Just give you more space, and watch this side, and... All right, so we got lucky there. With this play, it's really weird. Sometimes the corner will cover it, other times it will not, and that is why we have this streak and that drag there. So let's try this again. See if we can get that double move to go. And we didn't, so we got the drag there. And look at that, we got a nice 15 yard gain. Really easy to beat the blitz. And with this formation, you got the two running backs there who are blocking, so that gives you pretty solid time. It should be enough time to where you can get this play off. Like I said, this route doesn't work every single time by any means. And we get at least, man, he's just not breaking that route at all but we're gonna keep trying until we get it it does work just sometimes they'll take a while for whatever reason sometimes they'll cover that route and other times they will get absolutely cooked but if not you just gotta make sure you make the right read we don't and see there we have circle open so just gonna kind of go through this again all right so that's what it looks like once again see if sammy watkins can finally break this off he doesn't, but look at that. We got Tyree Kill right there. So if that square route does not get open, Tyree Kill or the drag should be able to beat man coverage. But obviously, with this route, you're looking for a big gain. If he gets past that first guy that's covering him, he is just off. And once again, he is just man tight defense. I don't know why he's not breaking it. When I've been laughing at this up, he's been able to break it like crazy. But we're just going to keep running it. All right, let's try it one more time here. Just want to see you break it. Yeah, see there? He completely fakes out the defender and then look at all the room that you have. That's a touchdown. That play, if he breaks off, will absolutely torch man defense. Take a look at the replay real quick. So we'll go over here and this little double move just kind of gets the cornerback all turned around, and by the time he comes back, it's too late. Absolutely torched him. Then it's just running down the sideline for the touchdown. So we're going to try it again. And like I said, that's why you have the drag and the slant, because it doesn't always work. So if it doesn't, you just got to make the right read, and yep. See, he did it again where he's turned around. Like I said, sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. But when it does work, it absolutely torches man defense especially man blitzes which is what everybody runs this year you always see uh, man blitzes you always see people rushing six you always see people rushing seven and you're basically stuck in man coverage having to make a quick read but with those two running backs you at least have time to where you can like at least make a read and a throw so we are going to do let's do cover two uh Cover two man this time, which is another thing some people like to run. Man is really, really good this year. So it's obviously important that you guys know how to beat it. 
and this blade does beat it, especially really any man, so we're gonna try it again, see if he gets turned around, he doesn't, but look at circle, wide open, so you just gotta make that read, so your first read's gonna be square, if he's not open, then you gotta just try to figure out which one the drag or the slant is open, and then hit one of those guys, let's see if we can get Watkins open, no we don't, but once again, Tyree kill, wide open, that slant kills man right there so just definitely keep running it you could pass it to Tyreek Hill every single time and he's going to be open more times than not but it doesn't have as big of a play potential as this play does and we're able to catch that after the run and we're able to pick up like 20-25 yards so this play is very effective versus man coverage and I don't want this video to run too long so I just want to try to beat this man coverage one more time with Sammy Watkins see if we can get him and he just won't get turned around this play only works if that cornerback gets turned around but like I said you got tons of options to pass it to that drag is gonna be open more times than that that slants gonna be open so you at least have two other reads and it's not just a hit or miss all right and we're just gonna keep running this play till we get it so hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Like I said, it just doesn't work for whatever reason. Sometimes sometimes they just don't get turned around. You want to have somebody that has a good route runner there. Not really sure what Tyreek. There we go. And we got Zach. But you saw there, he beat him. We would have been able to put it in there perfectly. That's what she said. But yeah, take a look here. Take a look and get him kind of turned around a little bit. Turn around, he comes makes a play right there, and you have him wide open. You just got to pass lead to the sideline. It's not going to be a one play touchdown like the other one was versus Man Blitz, but that play is going to be very, very effective versus Cover Two Man, which are just any man in general, which a lot of people do like the run. So, next, we are going to go back to the Y off trio week, which if you didn't see part one, I went over this a lot last week. I'm not gonna tell you plays, go back, watch that video, hit a like while you're at it. I mean, why not? You're already right there. But this one is going to be out of Saints Out. Saints Out, I like to run, and it does really well for cover two and cover three. So we're gonna come out on that, and we're gonna go over two different types of cover twos. We're gonna just go over cover two cloud flats and cover two hard flats here so we're gonna come out and camp it too you see we got the cloud the cloud flats right there this is what the play looks like if they're playing cloud flats this is your read see they're playing back that's all it takes a little dump off you got like five to seven yards it's really really easy and same with the running back see and see him playing back okay the corner goes back and look at that we got eight yards right there it's really really easy literally your read in this play are those cornerbacks on Tyree Kill and Sammy Watkins you want to look at them if they play in play up they're playing hard flats if they're playing back then they're playing uh, cloud flats and then the running back and Kelsey are your reads see there he's playing back boom Kind of nice little game. We'll just go over it one more time because I think it's pretty simple. Basically, I would get in here and kind of get used to looking at hard flats and cloud flats. See there, he is playing back again. Give him a little stiff arm, got about four yards, so not much. But if you're getting four to eight yards every single play, you are going to win a lot of games. And now we're going to go into cover two hard flats. Same play again, which once again is in the Y off trio week. Saints out, cover two, and let's go, cover two, hard flats. So it's same thing, you're gonna look at the cornerbacks, and the cornerbacks are playing in. Now you got that out route wide open, which is gonna be about a 12 to 15 year game. So you're getting a lot bigger game with this play, we'll go to the other side too. Plays in, then we just possession catch it for an easy catch. Like I said, it's mainly just trying to figure out what the read is right here. Let's see if we can get this going. Just random play, just kind of show you guys. Concept, oh shoot. Can I do recent plays? No. So we're gonna come out again in the Y off trio week. Saints out, concept, cover two. And let's just do a random cover two. See if we can. 
what in the God's name is this? Okay. All right, they're playing back. We're just gonna dump it off there. Easy yards. We're just gonna do two of these, just kind of show you guys. All right, there we go. See what they're playing. All right, they're playing back. So we hit the running back right there and we get a nice easy game. Guys, it's easy as that. Just look at the cornerbacks, see what they're doing. If they keep moving back, they're in cloud flats, dump it off to the tight end or running back. If they're playing up towards the running back or tight end, then you just hit one of those little, those little uh, out routes to the sideline and possession catch it. This play works very well versus cover two, run it all time. It's one of my favorite plays in the game. And it also works very well versus cover three as well. So we're gonna come on the same thing, Saints out. Cover three, let's just run, I don't know, cover three sky. So in this one, all the only difference is, is you're putting Sammy Watkins on a streak. This is going to clear out that safety. And then we should, if we have enough time, have this post route open. And just throw it up top. And yeah, it's easy as that. It's wide open. If you leave it as is, it's not going to be open at all. Take a look here. If you do that, then obviously you have the safety right there. So you do need to streak Sammy Watkins here. You can do what you want with the running back. You can either block him or uh, have him stay on this route. I like having him stay on this route just because if they're using their middle linebacker and you keep throwing it to your running back, it makes them respect the throw to the running back and not cover this post route. Let's see, he just gets right over the middle linebacker and it's just a very, very easy completion. We're gonna go over it one more time. Oh crap, and I forgot to put him, but I guess that works too. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes I forget to streak him. You just gotta streak Sammy Watkins. Look at Robinson, see if he gets open, see if he gets open. And he will. I'll get over top of the linebacker. So if they are covering that, sometimes if you wait, all right, let's say he's not open, say he's not open, just a little dump off to the tight end. You're not going to get a lot of yards there, but if you're able to pick up three yards right there instead of nothing, I mean, why won't you take it? Now let's say he's covered and he's covered. Got like two yards. So it's better than nothing, but obviously your first read is going to be that post route to the sideline just gotta wait till he gets over to safety i like to roam out just because i don't know force habit you don't really need to do that you can make this throw simply from the pocket let's do it one more time and then we'll get into our last play and money so that play torches cover two you just gotta kind of read what the cornerbacks are doing if it's cloud flats or hard flats and it destroys cover three as well so so far we've gone over man we've gone over cover two and we've gone over cover three so i'm gonna go over a play kind of in a random defense this play is new and it's the Taysom hill slot one of the new plays they had for Taysom hill just kind of get him in the game i don't know it's kind of cool but it's the play action read so let's come in in cover three so this is what it looks like right here. Let's see if it works stock. Kind of want to see if it works stock. I believe it does. So we get outside, we're running stock, and you just have to have a big arm and it's just an absolute cannon versus cover three. So this play does work pretty well versus cover three. You don't need to do anything at all. I like to take Robinson over here, put him on drag, just in case there is nothing there. At least I have like a security blanket just something I can throw to and if you get enough blocking it's going to absolutely kill cover three but I love this play versus cover four too so if you come out and they're running cover two then I mean I would just switch to a run honestly I don't I'm not a huge fan of this play versus cover two same with man so I would just kind of switch over to a run but if it's cover three or cover four this play works very well we're gonna run it one more time versus Cover three. I'm gonna put him over here just so I get some time and we're gonna double team right here Just so we have a little bit of time to actually throw this ball We still don't have enough time. Oh my god Okay, somehow we completed that we're gonna end on that because that looked pretty cool But you saw this play works very well versus cover three. So now we are going to run it versus cover 
4 now. There are three main types of cover 4. There's quarters, there's palms, and then there's uh, cover 4 show 2. So, same thing. You got this random ass Taysom Hill uh, formation. So, play action read concept. Let's come out in cover 4. Let's start out with cover 4 quarters. So, this is what it looks like. And this one, what you want to do, block the running back, streak Robinson out here, and then you want to motion him over. Once he gets past that, you want to hike it. So now he's on a streak, and look at Triangle now. He's got nobody around him. Absolutely destroys quarters. This play kills it. Show you this one more time. Just might want to get into like practice mode just to try to practice getting used to hiking the ball with him in motion so you streak him motion him once he gets in between the left tackle and your receiver you hike it and once you do that both the safety and the corner try to cover that streaking wide receiver so that's what leaves um the low post route here wide open and then i'm just gonna go over one more time because i'm throwing dots baby so we motion him over once he gets right there we hike it if you have enough time oh i should have been up one before all right we're going one more we're going one more so we'll motion him over after you streak him once he gets in the middle oh no i blocked him <laughs> sorry we're still throwing dots out here baby all right, all right, now we're at the last one. Now we're at the last one, third time's charm. So streak him, motion him over. Once he gets over there, you hike the ball. And he is just, man, I am getting pressure. Got it. All right, I'm gonna end on that one because this is starting to get annoying now. But it kills cover four, cover four quarters. That's the first one. Let's try to go over cover four palms now. So, Formation, same thing, that Taysom Hill play. Slot concept. Cover four. And let's go, cover four palms. Um, okay. That's weird. So cover four palms, they kind of play more like a man coverage, but you were doing the exact same thing. Hike it, get them on that streak, and that streak and their safety kind of get into the way of the cornerbacks that's on this post route. So that just really frees him up. And I must have come out on a run play. Luckily, we have it right here. Oh my god. I'm having all sorts of problems, guys. So the same thing, and then I'll kind of show you a breakdown of it. So I get right there once he crosses line. And yeah. That's just straight money. We're gonna go down here. So just go into the instant replay quick. Kind of take a look and kind of break it down for you guys. So instant replay. So you got him motion in here. Hike it when he gets here. See the streak. This guy is supposed to be just following him the whole time, but for whatever reason, when Tyree Kill gets here, he stops and starts going with Tyree Kill. So he starts going with Tyree Kill, then he realizes like, oh, I'm fucked. And then he tries to catch up to Tyree Kill, or whoever that is, Hardman, Robinson, whatever, not a Chiefs fan. By the time he does that, it's too late, and you're able to just throw it right over the top. So this play works very well versus cover four palms, which is, I know, some that a lot of people struggle with, because is it a zone? Is it a man? What is it? Nobody knows, but this play beats it. And then there is one more play that uh, cover four that a lot of people run. A lot of people run this to try to stop the run. I've never used it to really stop the run. I just have never tried it. So concept, cover four, and then is cover four drop show two. So we're going to do the same thing. And then if you watch here, this play just, it doesn't work. Oh man, I forgot to take it. It doesn't work, see that? We got absolutely nothing there. It does not work for his cover four. Drop show two. So what you want to do here is this is a little bit of a glitch out here. So you streak Robinson. You're going to motion him all the way the right there. And then see right there, he stops. He's blocking. And then you can either hit Hill in the middle of the field or sometimes he will come up and he'll be open on that. So once again, it's streak. 
come over and once he gets by the line that's when you hike it he at least tries to block that's absolutely terrible blocking but you see that we have the circle route coming across the middle of the field and he is open please block for me robinson for the love of god just block hey he's blocking look at him go out there and then you're able to squeeze it in there i like to pass clean it up or at least motion him up so he's not in his tight of coverage but this is how you beat cover four drop show too this is the only cover four that it does not absolutely destroy Oh man, I motioned him up way too far. We're gonna try one more time, guys, but that is all the plays I have for you today. Three new plays, all of them work very well. We gotta play how to beat man, a play how to beat cover two and cover three, and a play how to beat cover three and all sorts of cover fours. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See, we got nothing there. What, what is going on? All right, we're gonna try this one more time. This is just a play I do not recommend running versus cover four drop show two. You can usually tell what cover four they are dropping because people do not like to switch up their defense of what they run. They kind of like to stay with the same scheme and see that he gets in between defenses. So if they're running cover four drop show two a lot, I will kind of avoid this play. In order to beat this one, you need to have a deeper post route, which I showed you a play last week how to. If you guys watched that video and ran it, you know exactly what play I'm talking about. For those of you who haven't, go back watch that video. I'll show you a cover four play that kills every single cover four, even this one. Uh, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash a big thumbs up. Once again, once we get 10 likes on this video, I will drop part three of this ebook. And if things go well, I might even drop a part four that has some run plays and just kind of what I'm thinking when I decide I want to run the ball. I'm a passer, so I don't usually run the ball a ton but there are some really good run plays in this playbook all we need is 10 guys 10 likes guys and i'll drop cover uh part three and i'll probably be depending on when you guys get it within the day after you guys get it like i said thanksgiving took me a couple days before i could actually sit down and record this video with everything going on but once again smash that like button subscribe to me if you're new guys and i'm out peace I wanna be the very best. Yeah.